Well, thank you, Anne, for your welcome to country and uh, both of you for being here today. And thank you, Ken, for all the invitation to join you and send a really important message to our people uh, that it is important to get the jab. Uh, the fact that we're here at Wanunga with Julie Tongs and her staff this morning, uh, one of the many Aboriginal health services that are at the forefront of making sure that First Nations people uh, have access to vaccine. Uh, what's really pleasing is that with phase 1B, uh, it's been recognised uh, that the chronic health conditions of Aboriginal people uh, play a role in making this vaccine available to Aboriginal people over the age of 55. So that tells them something about us, Ken. Yes, well, um, <laughs> over the age of 55. Um, because for the other groups in 1B, it's over the age of 70, as I understand it. So there's the recognition of the health co uh, complexities that First Nations people face. Uh, I join with Ken Wyatt, um, the Ngunnawal people, and everyone in saying, please get the vaccine. It is important to protect our communities, uh, to protect our families, and to protect our culture.